check. I'm doing it this time. Okay. Okay. Para para. Hello, the show. Happy 2019 Happy again! Happy New Year, everyone! Happy New Year, our first official mix of 2019. We had yes. the New Year's one last week. That was a special. Special, but now we're back to regular Hello Halloween. Okay. Thank you guys for actually sending photos and stuff like that on Twitter. It's pretty cool. Which one? Well, no, no. People sent photos. Oh, that's right. You know, and then stuff, other stuff. So. Mix number 14. Wow. wow. Teenager ka na. <laughs> <laughs> Mix 14. Uh, so if it's your first time here, welcome to the show. My name is JC. My name is Rika. And we are radio DJs at Monster RX 93.1. And we host this show called The Hala Hala Show. So if it's your first time here, uh, what do we talk about? Uh, we have we basically have three segments. And we're thinking of, about like a word of the day thing. But oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Wala pa yan. Where na? I have Where something. Na? Okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so we have three segments. Segments, which is um, the week in review, mm-hmm. what we did like over the week, right? And then the TTs, the TTs. Um, which is uh, the trending topics. Yes. Okay. So whatever trended this week, or you know, just basically what's hot, what's popping, what's popping. Uh-huh. Uh huh. We're gonna talk about that. You know, give finger popping each other's asshole. <laughs> you watch that? You watch Twenty One Jump Street? That's, yeah, I did. <laughs> finger popping. Okay. And then uh, we've got got us a question, which is we get like a question from you guys and we just answer it. We, uh, we actually forgot to ask for one. So we went on Instagram live real quick. So we got one from Daniel Raz- I know, Daniel Arzadon. Oh, yeah. Daniel. That's Dan- when John tweets. Ah, John tweets. Yeah. Didn't he get married recently? Yes. Congratulations, he did. Congratulations. bro. Congratulations. Uh, all right. So we'll, uh, we'll answer his question in a bit. Uh, so our TTs for today, uh, just a little teaser before we dive into our weekend review. Uh, mostly stuff that's um, on TV and stuff. Oh yeah. So us on Netflix. Us the trailer for us, which is a. Uh, it's like a. It's like yeah. Get Out. It's like Get Out. Same or director of Get Out. Same, uh, yeah, director and uh, the maker. See Jordan Peele. Jordan Ay, Peele. Jordan Peele, ba? Yeah. Yeah, like that. He's so like he's such a oh complicated person, no? no? Parang he's so smart, and but he's in comedy, but he can make horror, horror movies, movies that's yeah, like socially yeah. relevant. And so, it's, he's, woke. he's amazing. That's why yeah. he's woke. Uh, also, we're going to talk about uh, You, or stuff on Netflix. So the, the TV show You. Have you mm-hmm. seen it yet? No. Oh, I'm going to talk about it. But I'm not Bandersnatch. Spoiler. Bandersnatch. Mm-hmm. Did, you, did you play it? I'm still in the middle okay. of it. You know why? Because why? it's just so, so long. long. Okay, we'll talk about that okay. in a bit. But time to get into our weekend review. So okay. uh, last first. week, of course, was the first week of 2019. We celebrated our New Year's. So we we did talk about it in the New Year's special, what we were going to do to celebrate. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I said that I was going to go to Pampanga. Yes, you did. And surprise my family. And it worked. I saw the reaction of your mom. Uh, it was so funny. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God, JC. Oh, my God, JC. <laughs> <laughs> That was really cool. Um, uh, side note, though, it was a very difficult time to get there because the morning of the thirty first. Mm. I remember I talked about it in a previous mix. I had I have gout. Yeah. And at the time, it was kind of coming back, mm-hmm. but it wasn't fully flared up. Oh man, it was a full blown gout attack. Yeah. Oh my god, I couldn't Ouch. even walk. It Wait, so how did so you like? I mean, I I, I could were you walk a slippers? little bit. I was wearing or, slippers. Okay. Oh man, it was so painful. And actually, until now, I still kind of have it, mm-hmm. but it, it subsided because I took meds. Okay. Oh, but it was it. so bad, especially after New Year's, the day after. I couldn't walk. Is it dude. because of what you ate or something? You know Probably. what? I don't know because some sometimes gout gets triggered by trigger food. Sometimes yeah. it's, uh, for example, beer is a pretty heavy trigger. Oh, wow. But for me, really, beer, I, I don't know. It doesn't do anything for me, I think. Some people, it's seafood. Maybe because you're it's like nuts. not a beer some drinker. people, it's. Maybe I don't know. Some people it's uh, uh mga innards. What's innards in Tagalog? Laman loob. Oh, laman loob. Mm-hmm. Sometimes that's what triggers it. I, I I haven't figured out what my trigger food is, but yeah, it sucked, dude. Yikes! But uh, the rest of the New Year was cool. We well, I couldn't do all the other stuff because my lola throws coins, right? So I was yeah. able to pick up. Uh, we played this game. I don't know if anyone's ever played. Have you played it? It's what? called Red Dog. What? So what do you do? It's a card game. It's just an in-between game. I don't know if that's a oh, okay. real name or I know not. the in-between game. Yeah, so basically you get two cards, yeah. and then the next card from the deck, if it's in between the two cards that you have, you, you win. win how much you bet. So that's like our New Year's tradition. Mm. What else? What else did I do this week? That's pretty... M- oh, that's right. Uh, so part of my New Year's resolution, right, is to like get fit. Get, yes. Uh, I want to be called a snack. A snack. With two Cs. How about thick? S-N-A. Thick... 
You uh, can be you, thick. I know I can I be thick, like but you know, I feel like your body is meant I, I have, for you know, you know, like my body, uh, my body frame. Mm. No, but you know, I feel like thick is more associated with with babes, with girls, because no. they want, yeah, because they want that thick legs. I could thick imagine butt. Mbaku thick. Mbaku. <laughs> Umbaku. What's his real name? The guy from, from Black Panther? From us. Umbaku. <laughs> yeah, the main dude. In, you you got to look that up later. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, I don't know. I've, I've never really dreamed about being called thick. But that'd be cool, too. I just want to be called a snack. And you know when I posted... A snack. I posted on Instagram, right? I said that for my New Year's resolution, I want to be called a snack. Yeah. Without fishing for it. And a lot of Whoa. people, a lot of people commented that well, you've you kinda, already been a snack. So and you're, felt you're good. already fishing. <laughs> yeah, that's true. See Winston Duke. There you go. Winston Duke. Yeah. Yes, Mbaku from Black Panther he's was Duke. a snack. Is he thick? Can call him, he's thicky thick. Yeah, thick. I can call him thick, and he's a snack. <laughs> uh, so I started my actually even prior to the New Year's, uh, a week before I got mm. the gout, I was hitting the gym. Right. Because I've been having bouts of insomnia mm-hmm. lately. Uh, I've been losing a lot of sleep. I don't know why. It's just... it's. You know why. I know why. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I just... I, I, I've been up at like 3 in the morning, mm-hmm. 4 in the morning. So, so you just work out? I go to the gym because I go to uh, Anytime Fitness. Yeah. So I can Shout go out anytime. <laughs> Shout out to EF. Uh, so yeah, I, I've been working out at... Well, not all the time at 4 a.m., mm. but usually whenever I'm awake. I just go right, and I've been doing like an hour plus of cardio every that's a, day. That's a nice way to call time. It is, and you know yeah. what? I, I feel like my life has kind of stalled, really. So I, I just have nothing else to do. So all I just I and might as well be a snack. That's true. <laughs> and there's Wi-Fi at the gym. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I there spend a lot is. of my time, you know, if I'm browsing Instagram, I might as well just be on the bike. Right. Just, oh, and I've gotten really into Sudoku oh, again. Wow. It kills time on the bike. So well, I can yeah. solve medium Sudokus, no problem. Hard mm. Sudokus, I can solve them. It just takes me, I still need to work on my technique. But yeah. if there's anyone that loves Sudoku, man, holla at me. I love Sudoku. You can have, you can like download an app, like a Sudoku app. And like I have, fight. The, that's what I have. Oh, like, like, a, like a battle? Like yeah, a time like, challenge? Mm. Do they have that? I don't know. I <gasps> feel like they do. You, oh. you can just search for the right app, right? That would be sick. Right? Like, like a, the first one. But I feel like people solve. would cheat. They would just go online and cheat. Yeah. No, Me. you just have to be like you know honest with each other. What else is that? Is that all that I did? Oh, uh, I bought my mom's car. <laughs> you did. I bought my mom's car because uh, for the longest time, I, I I thought that having a car in Manila was impractical, and for the most part, it still is. Yeah, it is. But I I like as I mentioned earlier, I feel like my life is kind of at a stall again. Mm-hmm. Uh, I feel like I'm approaching another quarter life crisis, even though so I passed my quarter life. I know, past quarter life. Yeah, because my, my first quarter life crisis is what got me to move here to the mm-hmm. Philippines. Yeah. But now, I feel like I've, I've achieved a lot of stuff that I came here to achieve. Mm-hmm. And I feel like there's there's stuff that I left on the table way back that I kind of forgot about. Which, yeah. you know, namely, uh, travel, mm-hmm. uh, re-engage with, like, my family, with my family more yeah. often. Because last year, I can count on my fingers how many times I went to Pampanga. Because it's so such a hassle to get there. Yeah. Because we don't have that many days off, mm-hmm. and we only have one we work, day. Yeah, we work six days a week, so to go there is kind of impractical because you'd have to go back. Yeah. So I said, uh, I came to the point where I figured I should just get a uh, my mom's car because mm-hmm. they bought a new one. The the parking is kind of a pain in the ass though to buy. Or yeah, to especially rent. here in Ortigas, because if you have like a house, yeah. like a residential, mm-hmm. like a village, you could just park it anywhere. Yeah. Right? But if you live in a condo, you'd have to have a parking yeah, slot. Yeah, you either have to pay for one, which is hella expensive, mm-hmm. if there's even mm-hmm. one available, or you have to rent, which is also hella expensive. So, <laughs> so, patong, patong oh, man. I don't understand like the how it's so expensive. Yeah, man, it, like parking slots are one million pesos mm-hmm. and up. one million. Oh, my God, dude! I mean, just fathom that yeah. one million pesos. And there are condominiums in Pera or Bayong. That's how much the grand prize yeah. is. Imagine if you won Pera Bayong. That was so you, you only get the- one parking <laughs> spot. <laughs> what? The- <laughs> so, uh, but yeah. So, but I. So, I'm looking forward to a lot more uh, adventures. Mm-hmm. Uh, and now you can go to Pampanga because, anytime you want. And you know what? I miss Angkas. Not because I don't ride it. Mm. But I miss it because now Grab is so fucking expensive. Yes. Oh, that was Over also... Over the weekend, yeah. it was so expensive. And I was expecting it not to be expensive because not a lot of people are taking Grab, number yeah, one. Yeah, but there's not a lot of drivers out, though. 
Yeah, I know, but still, the yeah. parang, there's no traffic, there's no hassle. Did you whatever. do your grab uh, year? I did, oh, I did. How, okay, do you want to tell people? Yeah. Because the, the thing that was popular uh, recently as well. Oh, that could be part of our TTs as well. Okay. Uh, well, we can just talk about it right now. How, yeah. how much did you spend on grab? Because there's an, uh, there's a, took, like a program. You yeah. can see how much you spent in the year. I took 57 trips? or 53 trips okay. and then it totaled to about 9,000. For the only year. for the year? Yeah, I was oh, super Lee, that's shocked. So cheap. No, only because whenever it's super high, I never ever take it. I would rather walk. Oh wow. Ulan, um, ulan pa. I would rather walk, take the train, or like take angkas. Damn. And I, I think angkas really saved my life and my wallet. That's true. <laughs> the the three or four months they were uh, they were uh, in operation. operation. So I'm actually thankful for it. I said I had some friends on my Twitter timeline and Instagram story mm-hmm. timeline. That were in the uh, six digits, like yes. hundred thousand plus. Yeah. That's crazy. Uh, that is crazy. crazy. You could buy like you know. I think mine a lot was around stuff. fifty-six, less than sixty. Okay. But still, I did the math. But How much it. per month? Well, I mean, fifty. Well, if it's sixty, was that twelve or wait, lang. <laughs> <laughs> calculator. Wait, lang. Sixty twelve. Sixty thousand divided by twelve. Oh, five. Oh, five. Is that what I said? No, you said twelve. <laughs> <laughs> five thousand per. Month. <laughs> uh, uh, you um, tried, but that's how much I'm renting the parking slot now in our day. Okay, so, so it's kind of like... basically the only maslugi lao sa gas. But now mm. I have the freedom to go whenever I want. Yeah. So yun lang. That's the trade off. Yeah, that's that's my week. Hmm. <laughs> what did you do? How did um, you celebrate? Uh, actually, I was super happy. We celebrated New Year's like how we celebrated it before when we were kids. We bought um, fireworks for our house, as in like salabas lang ng bahay. Mga it, it, lang. Yeah, mga lang. It wasn't like the dangerous ones because you know, obviously we bawal didn't wanna. Na. Yeah, bawal na. We didn't wanna get you know in trouble. In trouble. So um, the only difference is hindi na yung parents ko yung bumili ng, <laughs> ng fireworks because before when we were kids my parents would buy it. Now it was my sister. Alam mo yun? So parang um, so there. Uh, we lit up like um, fireworks and uh, How much did you spend, do you know? The all of it that was like 5 uh 5k? Fount- no, no, no. Ah. 5 fountains that was one big like paputok and then like Lucy's and everything. <laughs> That was like 3K. Mahal, eh? Yeah. And it lasted what? Five well, minutes? Well, That's all build up. No. No, it was part. actually pretty fun. Especially the know. fountain. Because it's like, you know, pretty and everything. But things sparklers. It was really fun because that's how we celebrated New Year's before. Mm-hmm. But then when we the countdown concerts and everything, we started doing that. And then we figured that it was super hassle. You can like, enjoy. Mm-hmm. You know, especially when you start, you know, you can't get out of the parking really easily. This is the first time, by the way, just sorry to interrupt you. The first time I remember, even when I would vacation here for New yeah. Year's, the first time I remember it raining. Yeah, I know. I don't same, remember it raining. Same. I, I, never, I, I never experienced New Year's uh, raining. Yeah. So it was really a shock. And we were, I wasn't really super concerned because we would still light up the, you know, the sparklers and everything, which is like my thing. I cannot, for the life of me, like take the, yung papatok talaga na maliit and like, Light it in my hand, like. Why you would know. you light it in your hand? No, because iba like they would. As that's in, so they would, dangerous. Like, hold the, the, yeah, they would hold the firework, light it like while while they're holding it. Just that throw nila sa floor. That's a ter- uh, yeah, that's a terrible. It's a terrible idea. idea. So anyway, don't do that. I'm just like a sparkler kind of girl. And then after that, interestingly enough, mm-hmm. it, this is my first time I went out after New Year. So we went to Nectar. Oh, in, in the fort. Yeah, in VGC. Nectar uh, is a is a gay bar, right? Yeah, it's a gay bar, uh, but not exclusively, obviously for you know. Oh well, yeah, I know, but it's, it's, it's like a you know there are is that is there that... are drag shows there. Yeah, so it is a gay bar, right? Like, yeah, it you, is. it's okay to call it that. Yeah, right? I like, think so. Yeah, um, like O Bar. Yeah, like Obar. Yeah, here. I've been to Obar. <laughs> uh, I haven't been to Obar, but I want. You haven't been to Obar. Yeah, I want to go, but yeah, I've. Um, we went to Nectar. I brought my brother and my sister, and then MJ, and, my like uh, yeah, our here, co-DJ. our co DJ, and then Richard. Mai. Yeah, my Richard, our radio one, yeah. and then his cousin. So we were a group, and then we didn't have a table, so it was interesting because we were just like in the middle of the dance floor. Uh-huh. 
Um, there were three. Buti na lang na abuti namin yung last three performances, three drag queens, and it was amazing. Ano theme? Was there a theme? Um, one was Beyonce, the other nah. one was Britney, and then the other one I forgot. I I forgot. But he she was really super funny. She was super funny. In O Bar when I went before a long time ago, maybe mm. two years ago, it was a strictly Britney. It was like all the queens. All the queens. And they did Britney. It was so oh. good. And you know what's really nice about Nectar also? It's not like a stage stage. Mm. You could see them because they're like just in front of you. Yeah. Nakatayo lang sila sa bar. And then you could, uh, I liked it because I could see how they did their makeup. Kita ko yung makeup nila and how they did their hair, their wig, Galing. you know, and everything. So that was entertaining. Entertaining for me. Um, for other people, it might not be like you know, important. But for me, it's like amazing. And well, I think the, that's a big part of drag, right? I mean, yeah, makeup is a your, huge part makeup, of drag. And then you're a makeup artist, so I feel yeah, like that would be something whenever, to appreciate. Whenever you watch uh, RuPaul's, they don't just do it for like 20 minutes. No, hours. Oh, okay. Diba? It would take hours. So, and then the funny thing is, my brother. I brought my brother. Um, I didn't think. I didn't think that he would enjoy it, but. Well, she he was um surprised. Now, yung teammate niya sa dance team before was one of the drag Drags. queens. Oh wow! And he knew naman. He everybody knew na parang he does drag right. and everything. So it was all like super fun. Na parang, oh my gosh, you're here! Thank you for for watching and everything. So the energy at at well uh, Nectar. I've only been to Nectar once too. Mm. It and well at Obar. I, Obar for me. Obar the Obar experience was so like. Memorable. Yeah, it was so crazy. It was packed. I forgot if there was an event. Maybe mm-hmm. just the Britney Maybe. thing. I don't know. But man, the the crowd is so cool, mm-hmm. dude. Like wild. Yeah. And everyone's just like, hey. Yeah, I know. They're they're, they're girl, all just like, get it, right? Everybody's just having a good time. <laughs> and then whenever, and then I would see people just taking off their shirts, and it's fine. You know, ilumiyan yung parang the energy was fine. And then I was also happy because I brought my uh, I brought my sister, and it's actually the first time in a long time that she was out. Really? Yeah, because she works a lot, okay. and she doesn't like you know. And then I I she was you know super happy that she got to you know. She got to there. watch uh, a drag show, Sick. so that was fun. Something happened actually after, but I don't, I don't want to talk about it because ah, yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, it's not like the best experience, mm. but I left that in 2018. Yeah, boy. <laughs> um, and then uh, what happened after? Ooh, um, what else? What else, what else did, did you do? I do? New Year's resolution? Did you? Did you? Oh, make, did I did. You? Oh, um, wait. Are you ready to talk about the thing that people were kind of nervous about when you're talking? No. Not yet? <laughs> not yet. Okay, okay. <laughs> anyway, um, so many secrets, secrets. right? Secrets. <laughs> Rika, Jean, no, 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 they're not secrets. 2019. And they're not secrets. They're just, you know, like, ano matawag with it? Basta, parang, I'll tell you. In a bit. In a bit. Yeah, in a bit, yeah. <laughs> Next anyway, time. Anyway, um, my New Year's resolution is something... Um, I'm scared. <laughs> I know. I want to wake up at 5 a.m. every single day. Hell yeah. Yeah. Let's go to the gym. I know. It's just, I'm, I'm super excited. And um, this morning, I was actually super paranoid that I won't get to wake up at 5 a.m. So I woke up at 4. My wow. body just woke me up. And I was like, why? And now I'm super duper sleepy. <laughs> so there. Well, I'm wishing you a very uh, auspicious Auspicious. New Year's. <laughs> Here we go again with that word. Dude, you know, because uh, if you didn't listen to our New Year's uh, special, we had uh, we just, we we learned some new words. Yes, and, we did. Uh, we thought like, oh, it would be cool if we could learn one new yeah, word. Yeah, every uh, single uh, episode. I, I, so, I forgot who it was. Someone suggested, right? Like the vocabulary. Vo- 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 vocabulary. Because it's like vocabulary, but the word ube, ube is in, in the middle. I was thinking, what if it's just ubelary? Ubelary. That I doesn't know, make it, sense. Yeah, it would make sense to us. <laughs> it would make sense to us, yeah. Uh, so what I decided was I just looked up a word. Okay. <laughs> uh, I, ch- I searched word of the day. Mm. Miriam Webster. The word of the day, at least what, uh, on this recording, is campestral. 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 Okay. It means relating to fields or open country. For example, so how do you how do you for use it? example, I was able to thoroughly enjoy the region's rolling campestral beauty. In a three-town tour. Oh, so wait, wait. What's like the synonym? The simpler word. Uh, uh, maybe fields. Fields. Fields are open country. So, I was able to enjoy Baguio's campestral beauty. Mm. Wow. Word of the day. Sucka. Word of the day. Campestral. campestral. <laughs> that kind of makes sense, though. Yeah. Campestral. Yeah. Campestral. So, so I now went you guys to, learned a new word. I went to a lot of 
Campestral <laughs> what? I don't know. Campestral lands. lands. <laughs> I when I was in college. <laughs> Oh yeah, because you're know. Know, los baños. Yeah, full of campestral. I know things. <laughs> <laughs> like our campus is a campestral oh, land. I don't puede. know. Puede. Puede. All right. Actually. Okay. Uh, is there anything else that you did uh, in the week, or do you want to um, move on to our first titis of the well, year? I'm good. Oh no no no. What? Last one. I went to the Museum of Natural History. Oh yeah, I saw your post. Yeah, it was right. really cool. Right. Actually, when you go inside, you forget that you're in the Philippines okay. because you know, like the building is new. That was actually, I think, the Department of Tourism before, and they have this. Um, Where is it at? It's in Ermita, Manila. 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 Yeah, Manila. Um, it's in the compound of the National Museum. So I think so. It's the National Museum, National um, Museum of Anthropology, and the National Museum of Natural History. Mm. So we went to the Natural History, and then super impressive, yata talaga. Like every exhibit is just top notch, as in for me. Ah. And then I feel like if you, like siguro mga twelve years old to fifteen, super mag enjoy because they have like interactive stuff there. Exhibits. Yeah, exhibits. What kind of? I'm sorry. What was the natural history? So like. Um, Everything animals, animals. <laughs> animals like aquatic uh, marine life, and um, there are like trees and like types of butterflies and stuff like trees, that. Trees, butterflies, and, and everything wildlife. wildlife. Okay. And then so they have also like the bones of the dinosaur. They have the tooth of the Meg, and then like a real Meg. The real Meg is a Meg. Real? The Meg is real. Well, they got the tooth. The Megalodon. Did yeah, you watch that movie? I well, with Jason I didn't. Statham. No, I didn't. That was a surprisingly entertaining <laughs> movie. But yeah, apparently the the tooth was found here in the Philippines. Oh. Yeah, and Ooh. then parang they made a mock up of how big the the, the actual, the actual shark, would be. shark would be, and then in the middle would be like the normal shark, and it's like super super tiny. Ah, so it, it's like tw- twenty sharks in one. As in, ang laki nga. Anyway. What are the can you describe one interactive exhibit? Like, mm. what, what would be cool? There? Um, there, there are like um, panels, na, uh, the lit up panels where they put the the leaves, different types of leaves, and then they have papers for the kids, and they could uh, trace trace the leaves. The leaves, and they do it also on butterflies, um, and then you could go into this like, uh, what do you call this? Like a submarine. Like a. What do you call submarine? that? Yeah, like a fake submarine. You could go like inside. A, uh, tawag dito? What do you call that? Yeah. Something like an exhibit. Yeah. Okay. You could go inside. <laughs> and then there are these um there are these drawers where when you pull it out, there are like um in like mga bones na malilit na insects. You know, things that you don't usually see, like but obviously we see like mga bones ng lizards and stuff like that. But I don't mean my bat. There are like other stuff there, so super cool. So and it's then, kinda like the bone museum in in uh where did I go? Uh, Davao. Kind I of, the, but I this about is it before in not movie. just fossils and bones. It's just, uh, like it's other, other stuff, stuff too. too. And then the best part was um, you go into this room where you hear, um, what do you call this? Like different types of sounds you hear in a forest. And then like, meron ah, siyang, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then ah, meron siyang parang, it's like a clock. Kasi it's like around What you. was your favorite sound that you heard? Kasi it's like at the same time, eh, everything at the same time. Oh, so it's parang, not... Yeah, and then you could. Um, I can't describe it, but parang there are certain times where there are only like kunwari, yung bird and yung yung isang bird lang yung nagmimik ng sound because okay. it's twelve o'clock. Parang ganun. it's very educational. Anyway, mm. so a lot, like I encourage everyone to visit the Museum of Natural History. How it's much free. It? Oh, it's free. It's for free. With you what? With ID or no? Just sign up. You just have to write your name. Oh yeah. That's it. No ID requirement or whatever. Wow. But it's always nice to bring an ID. But um, it's free. It's cold there. Di ka pagpapa wii sa. Para sa mall. Yes. But you can learn stuff. But like in the middle, there's like this thing called the DNA Tree of Life, and it's this architectural, you know, amazing thing that they did. It's so cool. DNA Tree. Of life. Yeah, that's the one that I posted on my Instagram. So Museum of Natural History, History. in Ermita, in, yeah, Manila. Open every day or what? Uh, open. Uh, what do you call it? Yeah, I think every day. Just Google it, na lang, yeah, just, just in Google case. It. Cool. And it's free. So All right. Super fun. Okay. 
Uh, moving okay. on to our TTs, our first TTs, TTs. of the year. Uh, well, Rika wanted to talk about the trailer of this movie called Us. Yeah, it's like the it's all the continuation of Get Out, right? It's like just in the same. It's kind of like scene. a uh, an, another take on I think the black community. Right? Yeah, but it's like socially relevant. So it's directed by Jordan Peele, mm. and if you haven't seen the movie Get Out, first of all, watch Get Out. That movie's so good. It is. It's, it's like so one of good. the best movies. Um, but yeah, uh, Lupita Nyong'o is there, right? And then um, Winston Mbaku. Duke. Mbaku Thick. Have you seen that tweet before? Uh, or no, no, no. It was, uh, it was, there's this video of like all the Black Panther people together. Yeah. And then one person tweeted Mbaku like. Mbaku the, Thick. No, the guy uh, who plays Mbaku can break my Mbaku. <laughs> <laughs> He can. What does that mean, break your back? Because that's like a sexual thing, right? I think so. So what does it mean, though? I don't like, know. He can break my back. What does that mean? Maybe like... Because I'm trying to figure it out, right? Like, does like, that mean what? that you're like... Doggy style. You're, is it doggy style? Wait, wait, wait. Break my back. Urban dictionary. <laughs> Urban <laughs> dictionary. I'm thinking it's because of the motion of like the... <gasps> Oh, <laughs> that was a door. <laughs> oh yeah, it is doggy style. It is. Yeah, it is. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, of sexual intercourse. Oh, okay. Yeah, there. Doggy posture. Okay. Okay. Anyway. So yeah, and it stars um there Mbaku. <laughs> Mbaku, Winston Duke. And then actually, I saw this one video where it explained everything uh-huh. um in the trailer, but I feel like it it it. It involves spoilers, so I don't want to get into it that much. Okay. But, um, yeah, essentially, they saw another family that looks like them, but wanted to kill them. Oh. Um, yeah. Because I, I saw Cause parts of the they trailer. were all wearing masks. But when they removed the mask, they were like, oh my god, it's you. I mean, you're me. Something mm. like that. And Psychological then, horror movie. Something no. like that. So kind of like Get Out. And when you watch the video, actually, that explained all of the Easter eggs and everything... Um, of the trailer, just the trailer. Um, it's actually super eerie and creepy. So, you know, you could check that out online. Us. Yeah. Us, us trailer uh, Easter eggs? Is, is that what you search? I'm sure you'll find it. Yeah, I'm sure you'll find it. So, okay. there. I don't know. If you guys are a fan of uh, Get Out and Jordan Peele, mm-hmm. it's just, it, I think it's something to watch. Did he out win for. something? Yeah, I think Which he did. Best something? Best picture? No, 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 not best picture. I don't know what he won. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Time again. to search again. I Get know. Get Out Awards. Get Out Awards. So while we search for that, uh, the other thing that's popular nowadays is the uh, Netflix, well, the, 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 new, the new episode of Black Mirror called Bandersnatch. Yes, Bandersnatch. So Bandersnatch is, is well, it it's follows in the Black, Black Panther, Black Mirror uh Series, series where it's it's about technology mm-hmm. and how it kind of affects our lives, and it's very dark. However, they go down this route of like having you be able to have different endings mm-hmm. by making choices throughout the 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 you know the the show. Yeah, the frustrating thing is for me is when you choose the wrong option, mm-hmm. you go back to the start, and I'm just not like, all of them though. Yeah, I know, but like when. I, when that happened to me like a couple of times, I was like, okay, fine, wait. I just have to watch. I, got, I have to stop. Okay. I, I got, uh, to be honest, I got kind of bored. <laughs> because yeah. you're like, man, because, well, you're waiting for like a choice to come up. Mm-hmm. So you're like, and then when you when the choice does come up, sometimes it's like, man, I didn't, I don't want these two choices yeah. at all. It's uh, not the thing that you expect. And then people actually have been online. They've been posting the, you know, dito parang the flow chart yeah. of all the endings. So I only reach, I think, two, two like definitive endings. Okay. But if you search, well, actually, Ilan. not to spoil it, and there are six or seven, yeah. Oh, okay. I was thinking like seventeen, mga no, 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 twenty. No. And then apparently there's like a secret, secret ending, what? which I don't know about. I, I don't know. I, I I saw it on Twitter as well. So if anyone out there has reached the, the secret. Bandersnatch secret, secret ending, it takes you to like a website. Oh what! And it also oh, yeah cool. something about like the also the hang the DJ episode mm-hmm. of Black Mirror too. I don't know if I, if anyone knows what I'm talking yeah. about, but oh by the way, it's just, it's, it's pretty cool that nga, the the Black Mirror thing is they're all connected. Kind of, it's supposed to be like a dystopian world where yeah. technology is kind of 
taking screwed, over screwed the world. Over everybody. <laughs> yeah. But it's not all set in the same. Oh, it was your no, favorite not, Black Mirror episode. No, it's not set in the same, but they're all kind of connected. I mean, parang like yeah. here, mama mentioned yung nose dive, something like True. that. Is diba? there is there a favorite Black Mirror episode? Oh then? yeah. What? For me, I mean, everybody. I mean, I love nose dive. Okay. I love it, but really, it's the the one with the bees. The bees. The bees. The one What? with the bees. Which one's that one? <laughs> yeah, the one with the bees and um, black. Mirror bees. Yeah. What is that one? What was that about? Wait, wait, wait. Yung parang ano? Meron ng parang the here hated in the nation. Yeah. That's my favorite one. Oh, the detective. The detective. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. The one where they like they have robot bees. Right. Because parang namatay na lahat ng bees and you know like they have to control. It's true. Obviously, I remember that. like the the plants. That was a good one. Yeah, it was really good. I loved it only because. Because I love uh, crime shows, right? And mm-hmm. it's something like a crime show, yeah. diba? I like. Well, there's the two that I like uh, in particular mm-hmm. were the Hang the DJ yeah. and then the. Well, San Junipero was really good, but it started off so fucking slow. It did, and then I mean, obviously the there's reason, like this, like the diba, mind blown yeah. factor in the. Uh, in the well, end. because the thing, the reason why I like those two, I don't know. Well, it's kind of old now. I guess I could. I'm not gonna spoil what happens, yeah. but it's the few. It's one of the two of the few episodes that have a happy ending. <laughs> the rest of the Black Mirror episodes, they're are so, all just like you just want to take a shower yeah. five times. In terms of the dark, like the in terms of like a dark ending one, mm. I like the the Christmas one. I don't know if it was part of a a special or What's whatever. Christmas the Christmas, uh, the one with John John Hamm. I John Hamm, but John Hamm. John date, Hamm. Date, date. Yeah, Black Mirror Christmas. The where oh that one has that one is like the White worst Christmas. one. White Christmas. White yeah, Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't really watch. Oh, this because one. it's it's like the the ending is so dark because basically there's this thing where you can slow down time mm-hmm. for somebody and imagine putting somebody through this thing where you one second for them Could is be. like a is like a year. Imagine oh. that. That's like torture. Yeah. So imagine if I put you in a box, right? And then I turn it so that every second that you experience in there is a year. Mm. So 30 seconds of me just watching you in the box is 30 years for you. For you. That's so crazy. Wait, so what's in it for the person in the Nothing, box? nothing. They're no, no, they're they're like a prisoner. Ah, they're, yeah, they're damn. being punished. It's crazy. Yeah, that is crazy. Yeah, so I like that the White Christmas episode of Black Mirror. Banner right. Snatch is not up there. I don't know. I feel like it's a gimmick. It's it's, it's a, cool. I mean, it was a cool concept at first. And, and actually, somebody told uh, someone told me that it was really the first time that there was a choose your own adventure thing. Goosebumps. On Netflix. Oh, Netflix. Oh, there. Because it's like kids in Netflix. Kids, they have it all the time. Like in, um, uh, I'm on interactive mm, shows. I didn't know they that. They have it all the time in the kids uh, section of Netflix. Like Mga uh, Dora, they explore. No, you Minecraft and ganon. You Dora, parang ganon. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. So it's time for the adults to play with it now. <laughs> did you ever read the Goosebumps books? Uh, the ones with the choose I, your. I did not. I never oh, had didn't. a choose your own adventure book. So I was. A... But you're familiar with the with the concept, right? Yeah, I I was, but I would I, I didn't really have a book like that. I remember like I was what... a anyway a Sweet Valley type of girl. <laughs> What's Sweet Valley? You know Sweet Valley. No, what the hell, is Sweet Valley? It's just like a bunch of teenagers, you know. Huh? Yeah, you new story of but... life nila. But there's a choose your adventure. No, no. no, ah, it's just sweet, like Babysitters Club, kind of, or like Hardy Boys. Hardy Boys. What's the ano? ano Nancy Drew. Nancy I was Drew. a big Nancy Drew fan. I would actually take out Nancy Drew books in the library yeah. without telling the librarian. What? <laughs> no. Shout kasi, out to your librarian. What's her name? I don't know. What's his or her no, name? No, I would borrow one, and then obviously I I know that I'm gonna finish the book within the day, so I need the next one. So I just kind of slip the Ooh. next. One. I put it back. Really? I did. All of them. Yeah, all of them. Without fail. Without fail. Promise. Take them up in library card. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, So I guess Banner Snatch was all right. Uh, Yeah, I guess so. But speaking of things that were uh, on Netflix and Mm. really good, well, Rika hasn't seen it. Uh, The TV show You. Oh, you. It's called I know. I know it's awesome. And uh, people have been telling me to watch it. It's so It's just that. Good. Time. Man, the girl in there looks like Lily Reinhardt from from uh, Riverdale. And somebody told me she also looked like uh, Quinn from Glee. Yeah, see, I know Diana Argon. Yeah. Agron. Uh, Agron, ba? 
Agron. Agron ba? Yeah. Not Dan Argon? Ag- no, Agron. Oh, okay. <laughs> and it stars Penn Badgley. If you ever watched mm-hmm. uh, Gossip Girl, he played... Uh, Gossip Girl? <laughs> uh, no, he played Dan. 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 Oh, well, he, he was Gossip Girl. You ah, didn't know that? I never watched Gossip Girl. Oh, well, he was. Oh, was he? Yeah. <laughs> He's Gossip Girl. I thought I got Yeah, initially. I, I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. But it, it stars Penn Badgley. And dude, he is... Uh, he plays creepy. like this creepy... Stalker. But the thing is, I and I am trying to avoid any spoilers. If you ever... Have you watched Breaking Bad? Yes. Okay, so Breaking Bad. Did you ever empathize with Walter White? I, right, like, did you want I him? Did. Yeah, did you I want, want him, him to, to succeed? Like, get away with him? Right, that's what I'm saying. So in this show, the, the one called mm. You, it's the same kind of feeling. Yeah, I'm not talking about, like Stockholm syndrome. Probably kinda, right. Like you, you're you you fall in love with mm. this uh, like this this dude who's super like not a good person. You can't decide if he's a good or bad person. Well, the thing is, well, for example, Walter White. You know he's a bad person. Yeah, but still. But I there's mean... things about him that are still human, mm-hmm. and I think this show has it, and that's what makes it so good. Yeah. Because you're like, man, I this guy's so mean or mm-hmm. bad but he's also kind of cool <laughs> and the thing is actually chico we were talking about it chico uh made a good point that he's actually not like the um the typical Mm-mm. bad person look i mean not the villain yeah because he's guapo yeah as fuck. and he looks nice and i mean he like he's a nice person mm-hmm. like he's not like parang draco malfoy na parang... yeah he looks like an asshole no yeah. this guy looks really like he looks like a, a normal you know, person normal down to earth mm-hmm. very charming guy and he is in the show so if you haven't no, seen it, are you gonna watch it? When are you gonna I watch am, it? I am. I am gonna watch it. Okay, fine. I will watch, watch it today. Watch it, dude. I will watch Come it. Come on, it's so good. It's one of the well, one of my favorite shows uh, of of late. Okay. Of late. What else have I seen lately? I don't know. Is there anything else that you've seen lately? Mm, no, I've been rewatching movies like Devil Wears Prada and <sighs> The Greatest Showman. Gone Girl's on you Netflix know what? now. I know. I did. I watched mm. it. I loved it. Again, there was this feeling that I wanted to. Take a shower, <laughs> after like like her, Gone Girl. <laughs> and then after um, the Neil Patrick Harris scene, it's just that Blech. was ugh. yeah. How could you like, you know, not take a shower after that, de ba? Parang nagdrive pa siya. That was such a weird casting choice, don't you think, Neil Patrick Harris? But actually, it was alam mo yung parang believable. Cause, what really? I, it kasi took obs- me, it ang galing niya maging parang obsessed oh. na parang low key obsessed with the girl. It kind of took me out of the movie because. I don't know. Because you could imagine, I know, Barney. Barney. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I feel like he yeah. can only do that role, but I just it was so it was so weird because at the time when that movie came out, he was like in that prime yeah. role of mm-hmm. being Barney Stinson. But I think bagay because I mean, he was so wide-eyed. Na parang I'm so in love with you. I'm I'm gonna shop for you, and you know you don't have to leave the house. You know he's a professional magician. What? Yeah, really? when I was younger, I wanted to be a professional magician. <laughs> okay. No, seriously. Okay. Because I thought magician, ma- ma- magician, magic, uh-huh. magic was like a way to impress girls. <laughs> wow. It's true, and I learned it a lot of. It could be if you have like the right face. I learned a lot of card man. tricks. Mm. You know, you're saying I don't have the right face for magic. Hindi, I'm just saying in general. Uh, oh, oh, meron ka. Ito naman hurt agad. <laughs> uh, it was so cool. Like. Um, well, he he attended. There's like a magic school, like the mm. the the magic castle in L.A. You're like he's um, like the he's like the one of the key members there. What? Yeah, you're like um, it's like Hogwarts. I mean, the, the, the closest thing you'll get to Hogwarts yeah. is a magic school. <laughs> no, I, I'm saying you're like the dad from from you're like Phil. Modern Family. Oh, dude, he's <laughs> obsessed my obsessed with magic. I love yeah. Phil. He's like my daddy goal. Super funny. I want to be him. When he he's up. funny and quirky and. He was yeah. a he was a cheerleader. Cheer- He's like your like the trampoline dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah, trampoline <laughs> thing, and like he takes it seriously. Yeah, it's just funny. Anyway, okay, okay. Uh, let's move on to our goddess question. Oh, just uh, uh, we forgot to mention, get out one best original screenplay. Yeah, at for the Academy the Awards. Yeah. So, bing bing, and what was it? Our question from uh, John. When John tweets. When John tweets. Hey, congratulations, by the way. You got congratulations. married. Congratulations. That's so awesome. It was a beautiful ceremony. Oh, well, you went? No. Did you come? Can you compliment? Wow. I saw the pictures. Actually, I saw the pictures. Oh, you want to be good. Isn't it beautiful? He asked, who's your Lodi? Lodi. I don't. Lodi. Right now. Right now. In lifestyle terms. Hmm. Who's your Lodi mo in lifestyle. terms of lifestyle? Um, who? Who? Sino ba? Well, I've been obsessing 
with this one Instagram person, yung sinabi mo sa akin. Sino? <laughs> ah! Margo. <laughs> Sorry. Best friend niya, no? Yeah. Ang crush ko. Oh, anyway, um, her name is... Wait lang. Let me just pull it up. Just to be, you know. Her name is Margo. Margo Caparos. There you go. Man, I can't believe this is the first time we're featuring on a podcast. I... <laughs> 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 anyway, she's like a fitness uh, girl on Instagram. Instagram, and I like how she posts her, um, you know, alam yun, her workouts and everything. It's like mm-hmm. it inspires me, so I like looking at her photos. So she's your, uh, no, your low D no, lifestyle. No, no, man, in IG, on IG. IG. Tapos on YouTube. Um, actually, I've been following this. I told you already. This this girl who does like um, what do you call this vegan um, recipes. Oh yeah, yeah. Jess Beautician, and I've been obsessing over her like the past month. Grabe. Why? 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 Why do you? It's like. Do you want to emulate that lifestyle? I want vegan? actually one day uh, per week where I eat vegan meals. So I'm actually super obsessing with her, and ang gagan ang gagan din ng mga aning ang gagan ng aesthetic niya on YouTube. Wait, let me pull it up. What's Jess, name? Jess, Anna? Jess, Jess, Jess Beautician. Beautician. Is there she a beautician? Go. No, I think that's her last name. What? No, yeah. That's her real last name? I think so. Beautician? I think she's from Ireland or something like that. Yeah. Does she have an accent? Um, like Ireland. No, 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 no. I knew that. Anyway, yeah, no, ang ganda nung aesthetic niya and I want it to be like that. I want my food. Alam mo yung parang... How long I, are her videos? Roughly, roughly. Eight minutes? Ten minutes? Okay, so short length. Nine minutes, see? Medium length. Yeah. And it's really cool and it looks yummy. So right now I really want to do that. My my thing with with like for example like vegan recipes mm-hmm. and stuff that are from abroad. Yeah, we it's don't have hard the to get and some we, of the ingredients, ingredients right here. Yeah. So what do you do? Do you mm. do you just substitute? Actually, I find joy in looking for a substitute for something. Alam mo yun yung parang it's a challenge for me. Because for example, there's not a lot of berries here. Yeah, right. There, right? So what Tapos would you if there are that? if there are para mahal. <laughs> Hindi, I mean like I could put like mangoes, you know, ah. something like melon, yung mm. kani meron sa atin. So Okay. I really like her. You guys should check her out. So just beautician mm-hmm. and Margo and Caparos. Margo. <laughs> no promise. As in on IG, I've been like looking at her workouts and, and I'm like, I want to do that in the gym. <laughs> Funny story. Uh I followed her, see si Margo. Mm. I haven't even met her yet. Uh but then I met her friend. Okay. Who is your friend too? Mm-hmm. Uh, wala <laughs> you want to go down that road? No, 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 no. Let's 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 stray away from that. <laughs> uh, mm. Is that it? Is that yeah. is there any more? No more lodies in, in your life? Ariana Grande. Ari. <laughs> yeah, I've been into Ariana Grande, and I'm I'm just so. But what about her lifestyle? Is something that you want to emulate? Hindi naman, not like the lifestyle per se, but like I love how she handled everything. Well, that's still part of the lifestyle. How Hindi you handle. Naman. How she handled everything in 2018. I'm just like, girl, you deserve the world right now. So do you want to live your life like that then? You want to No, be... I want... Yeah, something like that. Alam mo yung parang, I want to have people around me. I feel like kasi she has like this team around her na parang, you know, took care of her and everything. I want that to have in my life. I want to have that in my life. And then... You can get rid of her. You can uh, ignore oh, oh, comments. And everything. Alam mo yun. Tapos parang, I want to move on just like her. Alam mo yun parang... Move on to things. Mm. Alam mo yun, not like romantic yes. things, but you know, just in mm. life, life nice. in general. Ari is my girl for 2018. <laughs> for 2019, you're gonna be the new Ari. Wow. Ari Kaji. Hindi ko kaya yung whistle tone niya. Sorry. <laughs> uh, mine is well, I've been uh, the whole minimalism thing. I know mm-hmm. I'm back on it again, but the re- one of the biggest. Uh, uh, influences that mm-hmm. I had when I first started out is this guy on YouTube and I think I talked about it before okay. but just to reiterate his name is Matt Diavella mm-hmm. and he just makes videos about his minimalist uh, Ooh, I wanna, lifestyle I wanna he's a filmmaker him. so he actually gets he makes pretty good money uh, when he gets clients but what? his life Matt? Diavella so M-A-T-T D apostrophe apostrophe uh, A-V-E-L-L-A subscribe he's really good like uh, basically he makes you know, not too long videos, but he also has a podcast which he posts like a long one. That's okay. like an hour, hour plus long. But his regular videos are like five to eight minutes. Mm-hmm. And each one just kind of tackles different aspects of minimalism. So he had one video which shows 
uh, his his like daily routine. Mm. One about how 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 like his clothes, like he only has like certain amount of clothes, mm. and how he lives with that. He talks about like why he wakes up at certain times, like right. early in the morning, blah blah blah. Uh, and he has a girlfriend. Uh, it's really uh, she's really cute. Uh, oh, and they and she's not a she's minim- not a minimalist. Whoa, yeah. Oh, that's another video. Another video of like living with a minimalist, mm-hmm. and you're not a minimalist. It's, yeah, it's really good. I recommend checking it out. Uh, cool. He he recently, well, a couple of weeks ago, he took like a social media detox, and I was like, damn, that's something I wish I want I mm-hmm. could do. Same. You know, actually, just I was thinking about how much I look at my screen throughout the day, and I feel like it's frying my brain. It hurts your sometimes eyes too. It hurts your eyes. It's frying my brain because sometimes whenever I talk to people, I don't mean by I lose words, mm-hmm. and I'm like, I feel like this is the effect of just looking at a screen and not even thinking while scrolling through I, Facebook. I did something. Uh, I just noticed it. I forgot. It. I was on IG. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, and. Oh, I remember now. I, I when I post a photo now, mm-hmm. I, I don't like to think about how many likes I get, yeah. right? So what I do, a changed man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so what I do is uh, when I post a photo, mm. I turn off my data, and I uh, close the app. Right. However, I was at the gym when I posted something, and then I remember, even though my data was off, mm-hmm. every time I would go to my phone, the first thing I would click is Instagram. Even without if, thinking right yeah and I, I and then i would close it immediately obviously because you know well first of all there's no data and the other mm-hmm. thing is i'm trying to not it's so crazy that the first thing that uh, that i click on this my phone is, it. is black instant. mirror I is know. happening <laughs> it's so bad so i want to take i say it's hard also for us at least in yeah. terms of our job but we you know what we don't really need it all the time yeah, Maybe we Twitter. could actually we could actually use the computer. We, well, if yeah, we really wanted that's to. That's true. But I mean a social media detox is supposed to be like even not on a computer. Yeah. No, but for work. Yeah. Well, I, I want to like can. stop it for like a Do you want a challenge? What? Yeah, I want maybe a week. Or maybe a day. <laughs> no, I think I could go a week. I shit on heat up now. Can I can we do like 3 days? I think I could do 3 days. 3 days. 3 right, days. Right. Not yet though cuz I have some sponsored stuff to post soon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah and the other reason why I'm hesitant about taking a social mm. media social social Shaman, media yeah. bed yeah <laughs> detox is because of you know, yeah, uh, opportunity I might mm. miss out on monetary opportunities uh, but what's three days really that's true sometimes I, I whenever I use my phone I still miss uh, mm-hmm. emails right. and stuff you and uh, yeah Matt Diavella is like my Lodi in life right now uh, I can't really think of. I mean, of course, Chris Pratt has always been. Yeah. And then before Chris Pratt, if some people might not know, mm-hmm. before I have this obsession with Chris Pratt, right? He's like my idol in mm-hmm. life. But before Chris Pratt, there's someone else. Do you know who it is? Did I tell you about this? Do you know? No. Oh, you don't know this? I don't know. Most people don't. It was uh, JGL, Joseph Gordon Levitt. Oh, really? Yeah. Why? Uh, I was in, it was 2011, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I was working at, um, I was working at Old Navy in the States. Okay. And Old Navy, they're partners with like the the Gap and mm. Banana Republic. So we our employee discount at Banana Republic was fifty percent. Wow. My no gosh, no joke. Fifty percent. And at this time, Joseph Gordon Levitt, he was he was kind of doing a lot of movies at the mm. time. And dude, he dressed so nice. Mm-hmm. And this is the only time there's like a two year span in my life. Where I actually dress nice. <laughs> <laughs> because of JGL. Yeah. You know me. I don't dress up, right? Yeah. But at the time, I was really obsessed with getting, like, you dressed know. Up. Dressed up. and looking sharp and whatever. And I was kind of skinnier at the time. Mm-hmm. So I was able to fit, like, more stuff. I spent so much money. <gasps> that was so bad. But still, it could have been more because, you know. Yeah. So JGL. You had the discount. And I liked it that he was... Uh, He's like older, but he looks so young. Yeah, and that, that's just really cool too. It's like Ant Man. Yeah, see Paul Rudd. Yeah, it's like Paul Rudd. He moisturizes. That's why I got I on the moisturizer. Moisturizes right. and uh, puts on sunblock. Yeah. Oh, I forgot the update about my facial hair. I've been uh, well. So I am, what's happening? Well, no, because so in a mix, I forgot what mix that was. Okay. I talked about how I started. I was putting my noxidil on my mm-hmm. face, and um, I mean, it, it's gonna take a couple months, three months minimum, to see if it's gonna take effect. So mm-hmm. right now, nothing. But I've been consistent with it. So I just want to update people on that. I'll give more updates, you know, as as if you do. You should have. So my public hairs are still normal right yeah. now. 
Your public hair. My public hair. Okay. Anyway. Uh, yeah. That I mean, that's that's it. That's basically shorter, it. Shorter, shorter mix today because we're tired we're as both fuck. <laughs> but we're not tired because of you the podcast. You look tired. I know. I look. Okay. Oh, I always. Who do. who commented that? Name drop those fuckers. No, it's just I think that's just the way it is on Instagram. Yeah, it you is, know. Man. I've gotten some comments like that too. Like you look, I know, but eye bags. Yeah. yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. It's cool. But always remember, guys, these things where you know you can just keep it to yourself. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, okay. But yeah, that's the first. Uh, well, mix fourteen, but first of twenty nineteen, mm-hmm. and it will Shout be more out. prepared because we didn't really prepare for this. One. We were so tired. Dude. Da- oh yeah, yeah right. We, like, we were so prepared. Yeah, we were like yeah. we have like printouts and everything. Yeah, we just and then didn't see. we. Uh, what's the word that we learned today? Uh, we're gonna go Cam- uh, yeah, Cam- campestral. campestral. Yeah, we're gonna go uh, run through some campestral fields yeah. now. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna enjoy some campestral uh, scenery. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna eat some campestral oatmeal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you to Mickle for our uh, our microphones once again. Mickle rhymes with. Ano ba? Tickle. Tickle. You know what? Can I just say last one? So I was watching. Um, I was watching Devil Wears Prada, right? Yes. And I was just thinking, Stanley Tucci is such, uh, like, para siyang ano, a chameleon. Why? He's like a chameleon. What do you mean? Because I just remembered he was also in this movie that I watched um, about the Boston Globe, yung Spotlight. Yeah. He was there and he was a totally different person. This parang kagabi, I was just mind blown. Na parang ako, I feel like I want to say this, like, on the record. He's actually, like, the best actor for me. <laughs> really? Dude, grabe siya. Ang galing niya talaga. Stanley Tucci. Oh Out my. of all the actors, is your f- the, the best uh, actor hindi, for you? Parang... He's good. I'm just saying, I, I don't know. I, mean, I can think of a lot of good actors. Stanley no, Tucci. Alam mo yung na mind blown lang ako kagabi na parang, this is the same person? Mm. And he's so good in both. What about, uh, what's his name? See si Gary Oldman. He's a chameleon. Oh well, yeah. Yeah, yes. Gary Oldman is. But of course, I didn't see any of his movies. Gary Oldman, have you ever seen Leon the Professional? No. He was also Sirius Black in Harry Potter. He was in The Fifth Element. He was. You know in who's also a chameleon? Batman. You know. Um the the guy who plays the Pants Labyrinth dude. Huh? Yeah, you may eye sa palm. The bombs, yeah. Oh, what? He's also the monster in Lord of the Rings and in The Hobbit and in the... Yeah, he's in everywhere. He's the monster in... Pants L- Labyrinth. And Lord of the Rings? Hmm, what's that? No, not the same cre- monster, but... But he plays Shayong. creatures? Yeah, he plays creatures. He Does he play Gollum? No. No, no that's Andy Serkis. No, no, no. no. Yeah, yeah, no. Oh. Yeah, so anyway, I was just, I was just w- wondering. I wish... Or I hope someone someone out there would like agree with me. <laughs> no, I, I'm not. I'm not, uh, not being pejorative. Wow! Here. <laughs> Look at you no, using Stanley Tucci is a great actor. I just his name doesn't come up in my mind when I think of the I best actor. I know, same, actor. same. But it's just like when I was thinking yeah, that's about right, cause it. That's right, because he is a chameleon. It's like, whoa, <laughs> this is so weird. Anyway. Anyway. Okay, that's it. Yeah, we're tired, man. Sorry about that, guys. But thank uh, you, guys. Oh, don't forget to follow us online at. The Halo Halo Show everywhere except on Instagram. That's okay. right. Uh, and yeah, Mikkel on Lazada for microphones. Do if you want to start up. The, the bidet or not anymore? Not, not right now. But still. But you, we never know. It's it might cool. be, but still, check it out. <laughs> Buttoms up. Good company. All right. Yeah. Extra song. Hit it. Bye. Bye. <laughs>